Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans. How are you doing? Russ here from Porky's Corner. The biggest mouth in sport. Biggest balls. But I've got best teeth on that. Right. People say to me, Porky, why do you always win, Teddy? Because I can. Because when you've got somebody like him strutting around, telling lies all the time to fans and media and manipulating everybody and playing everybody. Oh, yeah. When I'm talking playing everybody, we're talking manipulating social media. We all know it goes on. Put this out for me, mate, and I'll sort you a few tickets. That's what this is. Isn't it, Edwards? That's what this is. Now, he's, a, he's got his son in a bit of a pickle, hasn't he? Old uh, Eddie Hearn, a.k.a. Thatch. The man that glues his own hair down. You know what I mean? It's not a real man, that, is it? Shave it off and be a geezer, don't you? But uh, it's got to the stage, though, now, hasn't it, where... It's not even a, a laughing matter anymore now, is it? After this, this what's just gone on with this uh, Eubank and Ben fight being cancelled because Conor Ben has tested dirty. Now, I notice in the media in the last 48 hours, I noticed since Eddie's done a couple of interviews, I've noticed a... a, a I've noticed the tides changing or the landscape where this is changing. And there's a lot of people doing a lot of backtracking and we just want clarification, said the guy. But yet 24 hours earlier, he's saying, well, I've heard Conor Ben's tested dirty with a WBC and, and this is now his second one. He's now saying, well, oh, we just want clarification. We don't know who it is. Even Frank Warren didn't mention the name. You mentioned the name though, didn't you, the guy? You know what I mean? What are you going to get now? You're going to get people backtracking. That's what you're going to get. Uh, instead of standing by your convictions, it's boxing, isn't it? It's a shady sport. A fighter has tested dirty, right? That's the first thing. Let, let's just break this down. He's tested dirty. So the fighter gets to know, then the fighter should say, well, what may be sample testing? No, no, no. What they do... They're going to have a test with Ucada. Ucad, whatever you want to call it. They're going to have a test with Ucad. Instead of sending the VADA B sample off, they're going to have a test with Ucad. It's a couple of the senders, don't they? Because if they send the VADA B test off and that comes back dirty, and it will, they get banned, won't it? So now they're going to play the technicality game, contaminated and this and that. You're going to see, you're going to hear all sorts of rubbish. As we speak now, the, the, the concocting the story, because they don't come out and do an interview in case they drop the sense, in it? Conor Ben is nowhere to be seen. Nowhere to be seen. What, what day are we on here? 14th of October. He's nowhere to be seen. Nowhere. But it's going to be interesting, isn't it? See what happens. Moving backwards. But Connor, Connor Ben's drug test aside, which is getting boring that now, isn't it? Eddie Hearn is hanging around like a bad smell. And I think I think we should call this video uh Picture of Eddie on front. I just put hanging about like a bad smell. Because that's what it is, isn't it? That's what this is, isn't it, Edward? Hey, eh? Canelo's deal's done with his own, isn't it? Right? Conor Ben's career is hanging by a thread, isn't it? He's being called a drug cheat. Well, he's failed a dope test, hasn't he? For a masking agent or whatever you want to call it. But they're downplaying it, aren't they? The bad thing about it is for me, him and Caller are bored, all shifted, a lot of them, aren't they, about how it's all been dealt with. And the board sitting on it all that time, but we'll come to them in another video. But
Now, who has he got? Who has he got now? Joshua's a busted flush, isn't it? But what's he won't fight anybody with a heartbeat? You know, they can't, they won't even go in ring with an old man Pascal. You know, Campbell, hands of foam Hatton, he's had two gifts out his out his unbeaten career, hasn't he? Can't fight for Toffee, won't even win an English belt. He'd be lucky to win an area belt. Well, they're not putting him in for, for an area belt. Do you know why? His profile's too big, isn't it? If he gets beat going for an area belt, that's it, it's game over. A bit like Tommy Fury, isn't it? If he gets beat fighting somebody at light heavyweight who's area level, they get flogged. So they're all going to go the money route and then maybe on trinket belt. On, but if they can do tickets, they'll just keep milking it and milking it. You're not going to see Johnny Fisher in any 50-50 fights for low-level belts, you know, area or English or Commonwealth. You're not going to see that. You're going to see trinket route like Conor Ben because he does tickets. He's there to pad the shows out. And that's the sad reflection of the sport. Isn't it Edward Hearn, Edward John Hearn? Hanging around like a bad smell after trying to pull wool over his eyes. How many more times have you done this, though, Eddie? How many more? How many more times? You know. So, well, I don't know what he's going to do now. Now He's got Katie Taylor on him, but she's on her way out. Terry Harper, they can't put her in with a puncher, can they? I don't hear her calling out Savannah Marshall to whoop another six pounds. They're not going to put Terry Harper near anybody who could whack at this, so they're going to have to protect her. But I don't know where Eddie's going here. Who's he got in his stable? Belly has been gone years. What's he going to do? Dig him up? <clears throat> Chisora Sporting next year. He's going to fight on a brick top show in December, so they say, against Fury. I believe it when I see it. Campbell hands a phone. I've just explained to you about him. What are they going to do? Go dig Dave Allen up. He's been out, it been in wilderness, God knows how long. He's 20 plus Clem and blowing bubbles. So I don't really know where Eddie's going to go with all this. I don't know. Do I care? No. Canelo's deal with that zone. That looks like that's done. So, so I don't know where they go, but I'm going to keep my foot. Oh, my knee is it firmly pressed on the action and on Eddie because when that ice breaks, I'll be underneath it. Mark my, my words, okie dokie. So, peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Don't have nightmares, do not have nightmares. So if you have nightmares about my videos, you'll not want to watch anymore. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment. Share these videos amongst your pals on WhatsApp. Oh, yeah, I can. Big shout out to my mate Frankie and Berry. Hope you well, Frank. Peace out.